Hey Aquarius, welcome to your weekly forecast for May 25th through the 31st. We're going to see what's happening the week ahead with you guys with this lovely deck here. And then we're going to continue our little celestial star theme by pulling an affirmation card for you guys from the Miracles Now deck. So without further ado, my darling Aquarius, let's jump right on in and see what's coming up for you guys. I heard, I, as I'm connecting with the Aquarius energy, I started to hear in my head uh, that old Billy Joel song, We Didn't Start the Fire. I haven't heard that in years. I don't know what brought it to my head. It's you guys. It's something about your energy, Aquarius. Uh, we know that that new moon in Gemini, because of the way Mars is right now, emotions are running high and some of you Aquarius might be feeling it on like a social level or like a political level like some of you maybe are like wanting to get involved in some kind of activism or, or, or making change like that's the message I take away from that song but we'll see we'll see what the cards have to say very random your first card here is the sun, right? And this is happiness. This is victory. This is accomplishment of, uh, of projects. This is freedom, a sense of freedom. So maybe some of you um, are feeling uh, like uh, you want to stand up for those freedoms, right? Or maybe some of you are just like dancing around. Maybe some of you go, oh, that's like a cool dance song. You know, whatever the energy is that that you you would take away from that but the sun card is definitely a card of um uh, it's a major arcana card so you're coming into a new chapter of your life okay you're coming into a new phase we we are coming out of new moon in gemini i'm actually recording this during new moon in gemini but it's covering the period of the week following right so the new moon is on the 22nd this is getting posted on the 22nd but it's covering May 25th through the 31st. So some of you are going to be feeling this new energy for a while. It's going to be following you. It's going to be moving with you. And you're feeling it in the sense of like wanting freedom, wanting happiness, uh, like feeling a drive to like accomplish the things that are important to you. Okay, we know we're still in, in uh, retrograde with uh, Virgo of uh, Virgo. Venus is still in re re I don't know. I cannot talk. My communication's all messed up. Whew. We know that Venus is in retrograde. Okay, and so Venus in retrograde is bringing us the energy of thinking about our stability, our security, ways in which we feel safe, ways in which we feel grounded and rooted and, and feel our, our needs being met, right? Money relationships, all those important things. And so Aquarius, some of you are thinking about what outside of yourself might be creating problems or blocks and, and you're wanting to overcome them. You're wanting to overcome them. I feel like you're, you've done a lot of, you have done the internal work. Like you've been looking at what are my fears? What are my false beliefs? And now you're looking at, okay, like what are the things that in the world that I have to tackle to, to bring about my success? Like, what are the things I'm going to have to accomplish, uh, you know, moving forward or challenges I'm going to have to take on? And the fact that you have the sun card coming up lets us know you're coming into a victorious chapter of your life, a time in which you're going to see success. You're going to feel a sense of freedom. A, uh, I feel also Aquarius, a lot of you this week are doing a lot of plans of like traveling, like you're feeling really cooped up and you're keeping your eyes on the prize. You are planning trips, you're planning events, you're planning things that you're going to do as soon as conditions change and you have the freedom to do so, uh, you're like, I'm never taking my freedoms for granted ever again. And so I think a lot of you are doing a lot of planning in your mind about where you're going to go, what you're going to do, who you're going to see, how you're going to live your life. You know, and you're coming into this victorious, happy energy. Your next card here is the Magician. Wow. So um, it's funny because I said Virgo, it was a slip of the tongue. And here we have Magician. Magician is associated with both Gemini 
and with Virgo. Okay, so some of you could have a significant uh, connection, soulmate connection. It doesn't have to be love or romance. I really want to specify that. It could be a partnership through a friendship or a family member or some business interaction where you are dealing with a Gemini or with a Virgo that's going to be a crucial part of this new chapter that you're stepping into. I would like to bring your attention to the fact, Aquarius, that so far you have two major arcana cards coming up. The major arcana cards, like I said, they're significant changes. The major arcana card come up when we're coming into that new chapter, something we came here to learn, something we came here to accomplish, uh, something that we came here to succeed at, to learn, to grow. And uh, the magician overall, let's put Virgo aside, let's put Gemini aside, um, the Magician overall is a car that comes up when we are in the energy of um, manifesting a whole new life, a whole new beginning. Uh, <laughs> I kind of joke about this card because from personal experience, it's a card I kept pulling for myself. Every I could have used a billion different decks. I keep getting the Magician. And it was during a time in my life when my life was no joke, a dumpster fire, like there was nowhere to go but up. So Aquarius, if you're feeling in that energy, like if you're feeling like, oh, well, it's good to know the sun card came up for me, but I, I have no idea how that's going to happen. The magician card is confirming for you that you're creating new energy as above, so below is the message with the magician. And it, it pops up to let us know that you're starting to get into sync. You're starting to come into flow energy. What is not for you has been cleared away. You've gone through the clearing. You've gone through the release. And now is the time of building. Now is the time of manifesting. So a lot of you are going to be seeing synchronicities. Or you're going to have like these really cool like serendipitous moments. Where you're like, I was just thinking about that. Or oh, what a coincidence, right? But obviously there's no such thing as coincidence. It's just us being in universal flow. It's being in sync with the energy of the universe. So some of you might be seeing a lot of repeating angel numbers. You may be seeing the 222, the 444, 777, 1111, 111. 444, you know, you might be seeing those repeating angel numbers. If you're seeing a lot of fives and it makes you nervous because some of you know five is change or five can be clearing karma, I feel it's good karma coming in. Good shift, like fun, uh, fun changes, happy changes, especially since your first card was the sun. So uh, Aquarius, if some of you have just been like, I can't catch a break, this is it. This is the shift. You're going to be catching those breaks. Okay. So a magician reminds us to make sure that we're keeping our attention focused on what we want and on like the solution of things, because you're coming into energy where you're going to manifest really quick, really, really fast. Um, especially if you keep seeing one, 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 11, 11, uh, the universe is nudging you and saying, Hey, listen up. Aquarius, this is a snapshot moment. This is like a moment in which the universe just captured what you were thinking about. So, and that's going to turn into a manifestation. So make sure you're keeping your thoughts towards what you want to come in, right? So it doesn't happen because you were thinking the wrong thing. It just happens to remind you like, hey, this was one of those moments. We just took a snapshot. We just took instruction for manifesting. It's like a confirmation. It's a receipt for you. So it's neither good nor bad, you know, depending on what you were thinking in the moment and how you want to label it. But that's why sometimes we see 1111 or 111. Your next card here, my darlings, is nine of cups can i be an aquarius this week <laughs> i want i want to be in the aquarius club nine of cups this is wishes coming true this is happy energy this is good things coming in and i just heard don't rain on my parade <laughs> so some of you may be in that energy where you're definitely um just like you're ready to be happy and you're ready to distance yourself from anybody who's kind of like being 
uh, negative. I also feel a sense with this Nine of Cups of an energy where it's like mine, my, like this is mine, mine. Like you're being protective of something. You're being protective of uh, an idea, um, of some uh, finances that might be coming in. But I don't feel it's like in a negative way. I feel it's in a way where like you're learning to be assertive and you're learning to be like in your self-preservation energy, okay? I feel Aquarius, those of you that have been philanthropic or you've been doing things for charity or you've been wanting to do things for charity and this might be where some of that social justice energy was coming in, you might be finding out this week that you've been misled by certain charities or organizations where you donated money or you donated funds or time and then you find out all of a sudden whoa like I thought I was donating to this cause but I just found out that this charity kept you know 50% uh, of what I gave and gave 50% to the cause or, or worse maybe it's like even a, a crazier percentage so some of you are becoming more cautious as a result when it comes to donating like you're like i learned my lesson i'm gonna really investigate i'm gonna really make sure i i know what's going on or that this is a good cause um i remember there was one time um there was one charity i i, I don't want to name names because i don't want to get in trouble like i'm talking crap about organizations or whatever but I was like, oh, cool, that might be cool to like work for this nonprofit company and to like help earn money for this charity or for this cause for these organizations. They were very good causes. And the nonprofit was like something that a lot of people would have heard of. And then when I went for like, this was years ago, I was pretty young, and I went for the orientation and I found out that uh, basically... Um, you're getting people to give like, you know, $10 a month, $50 a month. And then the charity or organization is getting maybe like a dollar of that. And I was like, that is so messed up. People don't know that, right? You're signing up like, oh my gosh, what an important cause. Let me give that. Let me be generous. And then you're finding out that that charity or that cause only got a couple of dollars out of what you gave. Like, I don't know. Some some of you, I feel like you have that kind of a situation happening where you're like, oh, oh, you're like, no, that's not fair. So with the nine of cups, I feel Aquarius, a lot of you are feeling less generous, <laughs> whether it's because you got burned and you're finding out the truth about an organization or whether it's just because you feel like, hey, these are uncertain times right now. Let me hold on to what's coming in. I feel like there's progress. I feel like there's success. I feel like there's some financial good news coming in for you with this nine of cups. And I feel like you're being very, like I said, like protective of it, like, like mine, mine, mine. But I don't necessarily feel that that's a bad thing, right? It's like a healthy form of self-preservation. Your next card, my dears, is Prince of Cups, right? Uh, some of you could be dealing with a younger uh, water sign. That could be the meaning here with Prince of Cups. However, Prince of Cups in my readings, and those of you that watch my readings, you know, especially Aquarius, you if you don't know by now when you watch my videos, shame on you. <laughs> you know, so Prince Prince of Cups is gonna be like Page of Cups, okay? And you you guys have you guys have had this ongoing theme for a while, Aquarius where it was about the heart chakra opening up, heart chakra opening up. And so a lot of you were going to be in your feelings. The, the page of cups for me is about that heart chakra opening up. And in the past, the videos were about, okay, the heart chakra is opening up to release emotion so that you can, you can receive, you're, you're, you're releasing, you're releasing. It might be a little bit intense, but write it out. And now your heart chakra stage, your, your heart chakra progress you know, based on the cards that have come in before this card this week, let us know that, yes, there's going to be some intense moments with the heart chakra opening up for you guys. But this time around, instead of releasing, instead of letting go of the past, you are teaching yourself to feel safe in receiving 
like you've done the clearing and now it's about receiving, right? And we just had that new moon energy. The new moon is about manifesting and calling in new energy. So this new moon period is going to be significant for a lot of you Aquarius. You guys are going to have a lot of manifestations happening. I mean, heck, you had the magician card. That's a card about manifesting. And so for some of you Aquarius, there's going to be moments where you're like having to like pace yourself like, oh my gosh, like I, I'm so overwhelmed. I, like I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. I appreciate this so much. Oh my goodness. Like it's going to feel overwhelming, right? And spirit is saying, just, just write out the feelings, write out the feelings and remind yourself it is safe for me to receive. So you guys are, are, are expanding your capacity to receive right now. When people are blocked financially, they tend to do a lot of work around the root chakra. And that's important. I agree with that. I don't dispute that at all. But what people don't understand is as wide open as you might get your root chakra, if the heart chakra is not opening, it's you're not going to be receiving anything right? Because we receive from the heart, the heart center. And so you guys are beginning to open up to receive in this way. Very beautiful energy. So let's go ahead and check out what your affirmation is for the week. And as always, my dear Aquarius, I invite you guys to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks they may resonate with you more than others. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do. If you want to click on the Calendly link in the description of this video, um, you will be able to schedule a private reading with me there. It will be a card reading. Okay, so you guys have to truly flourish is to release all the tension that holds me back from letting love pour through me. So we talked about the heart chakra opening up. And here it is right here. Right here. Letting the love pour through you. So what this is telling me is, and I did say a lot of you have already had a lot of release, right? Uh, so you've, you've, you've already done a lot of the releasing. The tension now is coming from letting this blessing, letting this love, letting this joy flow through you. When you've had hard times for a really long time, sometimes it's scary to let our guard down, to be like, oh my gosh, all right, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to enjoy this. We might be tempted to be like, oh, when's the shoe going to drop? When's the hammer going to fall? We might be on edge, but you want to try to ease out of that because you don't want to create blocks. You don't want to, you've worked so hard to come into the time of receiving and manifesting. You don't want to push it away. So do what you can to, like when you feel that tension, to reassure yourself, to release it, to let it go so that you can let the flow continue, okay? And so this is an affirmation you can repeat to yourself that can help with that. All right, my dears? Again, watch your moon sign and rising sign uh, videos. You can schedule a private reading. If you want more of a romantic read, check out the, the love videos for me linked in the description. Channeled angel messages are linked in the, in the description of the video as well. Um, guys, I do want to let you know uh, that I'm going to be picking the winner in the coming week. One person's winning a private 30-minute reading with me one per for free and one person is winning a brand new copy of the deck that i used in the may love readings and i'm picking the winners from instagram and facebook i'll pick one winner from instagram one winner from facebook just from the post likes and comments i'm just gonna go through who's jumping out at me one person will win the free private reading one person will win the card deck i'm gonna keep doing a monthly giveaway in this way um, so if you want to be in the giveaway, be sure to do that. Uh, and one more thing, guys, it's for a good cause. I know times are tough right now. I know not everyone can take part and I understand that, but I'm going to be on Instagram live, uh, doing quick mini live reads, um, May 27, 8 PM to 10 PM Pacific time. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm trying to help a friend or uh, somebody that I know who is a lovely person, single mother, uh, worked really, really hard to open up a salon. And now she's in danger of losing that salon 
because obviously, you know, hairstylists and people cannot, they're not seen as essential workers right now. So it's been closed for a couple of months. Her kids are depending on her. Um, you know, she's in a tough spot. So for anybody who donates during those two hours, May 27th, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Pacific time, anyone who donates $5 to the GoFundMe, uh, is going to get a uh, one card pull, just like whatever card comes up for you, I'm going to pull one card for you. Anybody who donates $10, I'm going to go ahead and do a, um, like I'll answer one question. You can ask any question that you want and I'll do a quick live, uh, live uh, read there and answer your question live. So that will be on Instagram. I know people are like, why don't you do it on YouTube? Why don't you do it on YouTube? It's difficult and it's challenging on YouTube, especially like to monitor um, the GoFundMe and to 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 know who is on and um, it, it's it's just it's easier to keep track on Instagram. I will do something on YouTube. I promise you guys, I'll do something on YouTube um, in the next month or so, and I will announce it. But just for this one uh fundraiser it's going to be easier to do it through instagram and in the future i'll come on and i'll do uh you know i'll do like uh live live reads that will be coming up i thank you guys for watching liking sharing commenting and subscribing i'm wishing you all a lovely week take care my dears